Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today it's we're in the middle of the hottest week of the summer in the UK. It is very hot indeed, so I'm not going to be slaving over a hot stove. I'm going to be doing a cold soup from Spain. Yes, you guessed it. Gaspacho Andaluz. Before we start, a quick shout out to my new Patreon superfan Azalea. Thank you, I do appreciate it. And it's been a really long time since I've had gazpacho because you need a really hot sunny day to properly enjoy it. And we've got one, so let's go on with it. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. Spanish gazpacho, cold tomato soup, oh yeah. Now this is one of those really popular dishes that everybody makes in Spain, or rather your mama or your abuela do, and they make the best by far and it's the only true way to do it. Of course, they're all different. So I'm doing what I'm doing, and if you don't like it, just And I'm pretty sure it's reasonably authentic, except these are ingredients from a British supermarket, not from a marvelous Spanish market. Uh, so yeah, obviously, first thing, wrong kind of tomatoes, and not, <laughs> not even what I intended to get. You want to get a hold of ripe tomatoes if you can, supermarkets would say that's past its sell by date and they wouldn't let you have them. So let's not fret about that. I've got about probably about 600 grams of tomatoes. I wanted all big ones but I forgot to get more of these so I've got these little ones. They'll be okay. An onion, a green pepper, just a bit of this red one for garnish. About half a cucumber, clove of garlic, some basil leaves also just for garnish I think. Uh, pinch of sea salt, two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of ivu. Yeah, also wrong kind of vinegar. It should be sherry vinegar or red wine vinegar. And I've got white wine vinegar cause I'm an idiot. But there you go. Right, let's chop things up. Oh, and some bread, some stale bread. This is actually quite essential to give the right kind of texture to your soup. Yeah, this bread, <laughs> it's artificially made stale by uh, putting it in the microwave for a minute. I might have overdone it, it's very, very hard. But in any case, it would need to be soaked in water for about 10 minutes before you put it into the soup. Now, you can make your soup in a food processor or a blender. Just chop your tomatoes. Big ones into eight pieces and just the little ones in half. Now, because this uh, food processor is so tiny, I'm going to do the tomatoes separately. And we'll pop that in a bowl and do the rest of the stuff. Right, it's been a while since we used the magic knife. Top and tail your onion, chop it in half, peel it. Magic word, mumbo pokers! And that can go in the machine for the next round of whizzing. Do the green bell pepper. Just keep a bit. I'll dice that nicely for garnish rather than Blast it with the magic knife. And the cucumber. Well, I'll save that bit for something else. I do want to peel it. Put the cucumber in the blender. Which is not a blender. <laughs> and then we've got this bit of garlic. Give them a good blast. Squash, skin it, because nobody wants to eat raw garlic skin, do they? We'll whiz that for a bit. I'm going to add the bread, which has turned to mush, so that's good. You want to squeeze out some of the water, most of the water, actually. 
Okay, now I'm going to do a sensible thing and transfer this and the tomato into the KitchenAid. Because it's bigger and now we're just down to a mixing process, not a chopping process. Alright, let's stick it all in. Right, I'm going to add some salt. Some pepper. Vinegar. I'm measuring this carefully, two tablespoons. And the same amount of olive oil. And mixy mixy. Right, I've done quite a bit of cheating while you've not been looking. First of all, the, the mixture was a kind of greenish grey rather than a, a vibrant red that it's supposed to be. And that's probably because I put too much cucumber in it. So I've added some more tomatoes and some tomato passata. So what well, and the texture is very coarse. I like it a, a lot smoother than this. And because I don't have a proper blender, I can't do it. So I'm gonna just press it through this colander, which will take a while. So much for a quick cold soup. We'll get there, come back later. Right, <clears> there <throat> we go. Um, I know I said vibrant red, that's not right actually. This is the colour it should be. It's kind of eh, pinky orangey. Ooh, lovely. That actually needs to chill for two or three hours. It should not be room temperature, it should be noticeably chilled. Unlike me. <laughs> Finely dice a bit of cucumber and some red and green peppers for garnish. Alright, here we go. Lovely cold soup and a range of adornments. In Spain when I've had this, you know, the waiter would come with a, a plate or a tray with little bowls of all of these different things. Um, so, you know, cucumber, red and green bell peppers, uh, maybe little bits of onion, croutons, all manner of goodies. And they'll say, which do you want? And you say, all of them. Yeah, a little dribble of olive oil. Couldn't be bothered doing croutons, so I've just got some little bits of bread and dip them in olive oil. Okay, taste test time with me. So, yum yum. It's impossible to convey how wonderful that is if you know the basic ingredients are cold, raw and vegetables. Uh, it's fantastic. If you've never had it, wait till it's a really hot day, then make it. You will love it, probably. Well, you might not love it, but I do. It's great. So. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.